Hi everybody from Virtual Harp Circle and anyone who's watching. This is going to be a harp tutorial and I'm going to be using Maria Grossi's Method for Harp 55 Studies, 55 Progressive Easy Studies. And we're going to start on page 2 and 3. And I'd like to show you what a really nice warm up is. These pages, if you would look at them, are marked MD, that's right hand, and MS, which is left hand. So when you're doing these three lines and these three lines, a line is called a system, you're doing the left hand and the right hand, excuse me, right hand and the left hand at the same time. So that's set one. Once you finish that, you're going to be doing the right hand and the left hand the next two. And that's set two, that's the ex second exercise. And then the last one, two, three, four, five systems are the right and the left hand. So if you would mark your page so you know somehow that there's the one exercise, two exercises, and three exercises, and you play them both together, that would really help. If you notice they have the notes D, F, and G, in the right hand and also in the left hand and what you want to do is keep all three fingers placed as you play these notes and then you replace after you play it and you keep them all on the string while you finish the exercise the only time you lift off is when you're finished with that exercise and they finish at the end here if you notice the second exercise placed with four fingers and the third exercise also places four fingers. So we could probably try and show you some of these. I'll just set the levers if you have a lever heart. And you're in the key of E flat. You want to make sure your your levers are up and setting your harp to the key of C natural. Okay. So, we're on D, F and G with 3, 2, 1 on the right hand, and with the left hand, you're on D, F and G, okay? And before you start, you place your fingers, and you want your palms of your hand close to the string, and you want your fingers low, and your thumbs up, as if the gravity is taking your fingers down and your strings are suspended from a string in the air. And then you can see that the strings move, so you want to press them before you start playing. And then when you pluck, these exercises should go very slowly because they're hand warm-up exercises. And when you pluck, you want your hands to come all the way into your palm. Eventually, when you move faster, the motion doesn't continue all the way through, but it is the correct motion, and that's what you're learning is the correct motion. So if we would begin, you give a count of four because it's in four four. So you give one one measure count. One, two, three, four. dog messed me up. I'm sorry. And I'm going a little bit too fast for what I'd like you to do. And what I also wanted to tell you is when you play, if when you place back, you stop the string and you look at your hand position and you're constantly checking because this is a motion exercise. You want to get your hands moving in the right direction. Ready? One, two, three, Four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
off. I'll continue the others in another video.